Oh my goodness, what a shocker. Yesterday was 80 degrees, today it's 40 right now. My goodness. Goodness gracious, as Granny would say. I was gonna show you guys something here in a second. There was a mysterious cat that ran across the stadium while the Cowboys were playing on Monday Night Football. And guys, guess whose cat that was? That was Shadow. She freaking traveled to New York to be on Monday Night Football and make a guest appearance. How cool is that? I didn't even ask for any money or anything. I just allowed the NFL to use him. Or to use her, I'm sorry. But, I don't know guys, I thought it was pretty cool. Shadow's famous. Guys, I can't get used to this cold weather. I know it's only like 40 right now, but it's really windy. I just gotta make sure the animals have plenty of food to keep warm, their body temperatures. And then uh, I'm gonna make sure they have plenty of hay out here to lay in and keep warm. So that's one thing I'm doing today is make sure they all have their food and stuff. Do that every day. But I'm gonna grab some hay from over here, put it out in the quill pen today. Also for the baby chicks, which I'm gonna be releasing this weekend because they are finally of age to be able to, I think, fend for themselves if I let them loose with all the other chickens. So let's go feed the goats. Guys, check out baby Hank, how fat he is. All that winter fur that he's growing in. And then there's little Bambino, he's just as fat. Just furry little things. And they got little Tom over here and Tom Jr. Grandma, Bill, a big rooster. But yeah, they're getting their winter fur in, staying warm. All right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be getting this rabbit hutch. I'm gonna get prepared for the quail. Uh, I don't want the quail out there in the open, like way out in the yard anymore. So I'm gonna bring them over here closer to the barn. I'm gonna put a bunch of hay in here, put up some areas they can just sit in and go to sleep at night or lay in. I gotta bring their water, food over. It's a lot of work. Hopefully I'll be able to catch them all. I'll bring them over and we'll see how they react to their new home. All right guys, so I got the water and food over here for the quail. I'm gonna keep this part of the cage uh, free of hay so they can have plenty of room to be able to eat and stuff. We won't get the food and stuff all dirty. So in this section over here, this is gonna be where the quail are gonna sleep at night, lay their eggs. I'm hoping that they don't lay any eggs on the other side where the food and water is. So that's another reason why I'm not gonna put any hay on that side. I don't want them thinking that that's a place where they lay. I want them to be able to lay on this side so I could collect it right through the entrance on this side. Put their little home or something this way, facing out, so that I could see if there's any eggs inside there. So I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of hay in here for now. I'll smooth it out in a little bit. Chill out, Grandma. It is getting to be really cold outside, so I'm gonna try to put as much as I can in here. Make it real thick. They'll be able to push it down over time, but I wanna make sure they have plenty of it in here to keep them warm. Let's see if I can climb on in here. Hopefully there's no spiders in here. We had some of those big fruit spiders, which are nasty looking. If I put it like that, put that there. I'm gonna put a, actually I'll put it over here in the corner. So I had the bucket here for them to be able to lay in at night. I'm gonna add a couple more of those other containers that I have for them to either lay in or to uh, sleep in at night. But I have plenty of hay in here now that they can always burrow down in, stay warm. You can see down here, the goats won't even let me put the hay in there. They're already eating it all. But it's a pretty good sized structure for them. You got their water and stuff over here, a bunch of hay over here, and their house on the end. All right guys, just add a little bit more hay.
guys, I think they'll be good to go in here. There's a ton of hay for them to be able to push down. Let me, uh, let me take it inside real quick so you can get a closer look. All right, guys, that's the bucket. As you can see, I buried it in hay. They're gonna burrow in through here and go up in so this whole section they can sleep in at night. Then I have one of those brown or the black little tubs that I had for extra planters. Put one there and one over there so they can either sleep in there as well or they can lay their eggs in there. But plenty of hay. They'll probably burrow down inside here. And then over there, as you can see, I got the food and water. But plenty of room for them to be able to do whatever they want in there. So I'm pleased with it. I'm pretty sure they're gonna like it. So it's time for me to go over there to their other pen, which is across the yard over there and bring them to their new home. Guys, it's getting dark. So I'm gonna have to try to get, catch them as fast as I can. It looks, like I said, it looks a lot brighter on the camera than it is out here. I probably should just adjust the settings a little bit, but it is about 540. So I got about 20 minutes left of daylight. So. I should be able to round them up pretty quick, put them in there and just keep an eye on them for a little bit, see if they uh, like their new home. Guys, you gotta be smarter than the birds. I'm gonna block them in a small section. So I gotta scare this one over. The other one's already in there and then I'll bring you on over to see it. Guys, don't let the birds outsmart you. Outsmart the birds. Oh man, it's getting dark quick. I have four left. I gave Tom a bunch of them. Uh, a couple of them got loose a while back, so I have four left. They're still laying eggs. They're still worth keeping, so that's why I'm moving them over there next to the barn. Don't fly out on me, birds. These are such beautiful birds. I love the coloring on this one. See if I can catch at least one more. I'll probably have to make a couple of trips since there's four of them. All right, guys, I got two of them. Time to head over and put these two in their new home. They come back and grab the other two. Guys, there's one. There's one back there. It's kind of dark, but here's another one right here. And it looks like the other one's back in there. But guys, I got to head back to the house because my battery's dying. I'll see you guys inside. Sorry about that, guys. My battery died. I wanted to come back out here and show you the quail sitting in their pen. I also caught the, uh... man guys, it got dark quick. Uh, I did want to come back out and show you guys the uh, quail inside their new pen. And then I also was able to catch the chicks that I let go. I just didn't want to put them out there that long, like let them loose this early. So I'm probably gonna keep them in there a couple more weeks until they get a little bit bigger. But I did want to come back out and show you guys uh, their new setup, so a little cold but you can see right there there's the three chicks they're gonna eventually make their way back there to the hay and then uh let's see if the where the quill are at okay so we got well let's see if i can get you over here you got a couple of the quail just sitting here for some reason there's another one there it looks like they've already tried to go back inside the first little box back there so they'll make their way around somehow and make this their new home but I hope these chicks make their way over to the I don't know why they're sitting here let's see if I can move them over chicken chicken chickies go on that so there you go there you go so Guys, there it was. 
just a quick update on them they're all doing great so if they're doing great i'm doing great still got my uh motion lights out here so that's still a plus keeps everything nice and bright if we come in here you can see that i got the uh chickens up here roosting the turkey some more chickens over here there's roof back there laying down take you over here i put out some fresh hay for the goats to chew on tonight looks like they're uh eating it up pretty good check out little little hank how big he is he's like half the size of grandma already and then you got these two babies over here but yeah it's pretty cool seeing all the turkey and everybody just hanging out together just one big happy family got little shadow of course always follow me around but yeah i do uh i do say this a lot but i am not a fan of this time change like i said it's six o'clock right now and it's pitch dark outside luckily i have these motion sensor lights out here tell you what jason always makes fun of me about all these sensor lights that i have that are motion and solar but guys when you live out here and you don't have power in your barn you got to do what you got to do and it's it's working people definitely uh lights up this whole section i hope i'm not just blinding you guys the whole time maybe i should do this so you can see my face but yeah time to head back in it's just gonna be a real short video today i didn't have a lot of content to film my main thing was to get the quail out of their pen move them up next to the barn just easier for me to be able to maintain uh, all the birds in one little section instead of having to fill out two different sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and head inside, stay warm, make me some dinner. Hope you enjoyed today's quick short video. If you did, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow.